Well, um, first of all, um, age mixing is, uh, is, is, we see it as one of, one of uh, the greatest things about our school because um, while in a normal school, a conventional school, um, I, I would, I would uh, be forced to spend my time with people who happen to have been born uh, the same year as, as I was. Um, here, I spend my time with people who happen to have the same interest as me, who happen to have something, who I happen to have common grounds with, to the people I actually can, can enjoy my time with. And my best friend at the school was 13 years of age, and I got along with him wonderfully, sort of, yeah, my brother. Age mixing is very important as far as sort of the general socializing of children into a dynamic atmosphere. After a while you just don't realize the different ages anymore. So it's not big kids and little kids and adults. It's all we are one community and everyone's a person, not a number of years. It wouldn't be true to say that the, that it's like there's completely no difference between a five-year-old and a 15-year-old because that would just be a lie. Um, but it, we feel it's wrong to arbitrarily say that a 12-year-old can enter this class and an 11-year-old can't. That doesn't make any sense to us. When you talk about, you think about your life, the only time you don't have age mixing is when you're, is in a structured school, right? You go to a playground, there's age mixing. You go to work, you, you spend time with people younger than you and older than you. You go to anywhere else you go, anything else you do. There's age mixing. People really do spend their time with kids of very different age ages. It's it's vital and it's exciting and it's a great way to learn things. And that's one of the things we think about when we talk about well, okay, worrying about making sure children are exposed to certain influences. Well, age mixing takes care of a lot of that. And there also is lots of um, teaching going on between age groups. Um, there, there was um, a seven-year-old who taught me Portuguese um, for one lesson. Uh, a eight-year-old who taught um, taught Russian for two months or uh -huh. so to a very to a very okay. large group. Um, and the class only stopped because the students lost interest, but she was willing to go on. Some older child is doing something or something creative and interesting and the younger kids see it and if they're interested in it they can go talk about it. The fact that everything is mixed that I'm with kids that are five years old and with kids that are 16 years old it also makes it that much easier to be with adults because uh, we're still a very new school and the people kids a lot of the new kids aren't used to this idea of like what do you mean play a game with an adult it's an adult you can't what? But, you know, you're playing with a five-year-old, why can't you play with an adult? And then it just creates this whole environment of equality in every way. It's amazing. Because the little kids are interacting with older people so much, they tend to act, um, or they do act more mature than other kids their age do. It's very really fun talking to them. You do like to talk to them and play with them and deal with them. It's not some, it's not annoying little kids. You don't have classes where only people go with a in, within a certain age range. Yes, but not because they have to or the other kids aren't allowed to. Like, for example, we have a psychology class and it's pretty much kids that are 12, 13, 14. But every once in a while, the, one of the little kids will stroll into the class and just sit in and listen. And if they're interested, they we're happy to have them stay. Just and on the other hand, we also have a philosophy class where kids from all ages cramp up in the room to to listen. And uh, a lot of them don't understand it very well. Um, a lot of them do. <laughs> and a lot of them do. Uh, and it's not necessarily depend on, dependent on the age. Sometimes it's exciting to be with a group of people who are at the same point in their lives as you are. And so, okay, you have a narrow group of people of the same age. And you see that at the schools and you see kids playing together who are about the same age a lot of the time. But it's also interesting and important to be around different types of people. 
And one of the biggest ways to be around different types of people is to be around people who are older than you or younger than you or going through different things than you are. Maybe you see some pe people going through some things that are difficult and you're going to have to go through them in the, in the future, so you want to learn a little bit about that. Maybe you see some people going through things that you've gone through and you can help them with, that, with it. It's great and it's important.